Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Spaz Devil. Many of you guys are currently getting stuck in with leagues and so am I. I stream it almost every single night on the YouTube channel. But today I'm going to show you the no bullshit approach to killing the King Black Dragon. We just got 99 Slayer. This was one of the last tasks I got. Let's jump in. Now there are many different setups to killing the King Black Dragon. We're going with melee because it's super efficient. You get loads of kills per trip and you might be asking yourself, do I need to use a Dragon Hunter Lance? And the answer is absolutely fuck no, you don't need a Dragon Hunter Lance. The Osmonton's Fang is absolutely ridiculous. It is just best in slot almost everywhere. And it slaps the shit out of the King Black Dragon. Especially when you are on a Black Dragon Slayer task, we get to use our Slayer Helmet. I'm taking a bog standard normal one. The Amulet of Blood Fury, this thing is incredible. It will save you so much food, it will extend your trips. Use the Amulet of Blood Fury. We're going with some Black Dragon Hide. I've seen people using Proslite, but you will take less damage if you're using Black Dragon Hide because he will hit you with magic and range or whatever the fuck he hits you with. I use Black Dragon Hide. I advise that you do the same. In terms of the cape slot, I've seen a lot of people using the RD cape. I'm going with the prayer cape because it looks fucking dope. If you do want to use the RD Cloak, it is going to help you with the prayer bonus. You can also use a fire cape if you want. They are very, very easy to acquire if you're doing lots of jab tasks while you are doing Slayer. Osmonton's Fang, as I've already mentioned, this thing is just so OP. I know they are planning to nerf, I think, the Slash on it very soon. But for the stab, you know, dragons are weak to stab. This is no exception. You're going to slap the shit out of the KBD. And it is half the price of the Dragon Hunter Lance. I would not buy a Dragon Hunter Lance just so that you can do KBD. You do not fucking need it unless you are doing Ulm. Um, just go ahead and take the, the Osmonton's Fang here. Now I am going to show you how to essentially have zero wilderness risk while doing this boss, but we still want to be careful. So I'm going to take the Barrow's Gloves. They are second best in slot. The same goes for switching the Prims out for the Dragon Boots. The same as we did in our Chaos Elemental video. And then you want a Ring of Suffering with the recoil effect on. It's amazing for the defensive bonuses. Dragon Fire Shield. And of course we have a Prayer Scroll just for that prayer bonus. Now looking at our wilderness risk, the bulk of it um, for that 1 million that we're risking when we turn on the protect item prayer, a lot of that is coming from the Slayer Helm and the Black Mask that you're going to lose. Now look, a million realistically is nothing. You can earn that, you know, for, for God's sake, you can earn that in one hour at Giant Mole. Most of it's just going to come from the Slayer Helmet. The Dragon Boots are like, what, 130k? I really wouldn't worry too much. I'm going to show you a method that means you're basically not going to have any risk. You're not going to fucking die here. If you're not on task and you're not using a Slayer Helm, go ahead and swap that out to a Nezzy Helm. What are they, like 50k or whatever they are? You're going to bring your risk way down to probably about 300k absolutely nothing you are absolutely groovy to go and run into the wilderness with that if someone does pk you which they won't with this method they're going to be getting fuck all now the loot from the kbd as you will see at the end of this video is pretty terrible i would only recommend doing this boss if you are hunting the prince black dragon pet which is a pretty sweet pet i'm not gonna lie we don't have it yet but i will get it it is part of my pet hunting grind now for our quick prayers we are using protect from melee we are using piety and we are are using protect item but once you are in the kbd lair you can go ahead and turn that shit off it will save you some extra prayer points you only need that while you are running into the kbd lair now for our supplies we are going to be using the divine super combat potion an antidote plus an extended super anti-fire potion some super restores we have some anglerfish here some manta rays and we are using the burning amulet to teleport there it's the closest teleport to the kbd lair they are very cheap on the grand exchange obviously you can use a wilderness uh, obelisk teleport in your house but a lot of you might not have that yet so i'm going to show you with the burning amulet and then obviously your teleport to get away because you are not going to be in wilderness when you are inside the actual lair you can use a house teleport or any one click teleport that you have anything is absolutely fine so the entrance to the kbd lair is located in 40 plus wilderness you can see the wilderness obelisk teleport will get you pretty close but the burning amulet teleport actually gets you nearer and it's something you can put straight in your inventory it's very easy to use and you can buy them off the grand exchange super super cheap and you'll be getting 20 to 30 kills per trip here 
once you teleport to the lava maze, you're just going to run round the gate, open the gate, go past some lesser demons and go down a small ladder. And then you will basically be in front of a lever which you pull that's going to teleport you directly into the KBD lair. You won't actually be in the wilderness for any more than about 15 to 20 seconds. And again, I'm going to show you how to completely negate the risk anyway. So let me show you how to avoid being this poor fool over here getting smashed to pieces on his way to the KBD. Again, this method will show you how to minimize all the risk. All you are going to do is go to your world switcher and do what we did in the Chaos Elemental video. Go to the ping tab at the top, choose the highest shit Australian ping server. Wilderness PKers hate Australian servers, they hate the ping, these are sweaty bastards. Once you have found a world and you're ready, you're just going to teleport to the lava maze into level 41 wilderness using your burning amulet. As soon as you get here, all you need to do is run around this gate. As I mentioned, you're only going to be in the wilderness for literally about 20 seconds. If you are really, really unlucky, you'll run into a PKer, but you can probably escape him relatively easily. All you need to do is go into the KBD lair and you are going to be safe. Before you head in, make sure to drink your extended super anti-fire and if you do get poisoned by one of the poison spiders then just take a sip of antidote and you'll be fine put your protect from melee on have a sip of your divine super combat potion and then all you need to do is run over to this fucker and just start slapping him and you will see that you do not need a dragon hunter lance you are going to do massive damage to him especially when you start unloading these specs i know we are hitting a lot of zeros here just bad rng trust me we had no problem killing this boss throughout the entire grind here. Really, really simple, really easy. 20, 30 kills per trip. Goes down like a fucking sack of shit. And the great thing about the KBD is his respawn timer is like five seconds. So you can get quite a lot of kills in. There's not a lot of waiting around. And your Amulet of Blood Fury is gonna come in so, so clutch. You only need to ever eat food if your health is dropping below maybe like 50 hit points or so. Other than that, you're relying on the Amulet of Blood Fury to do a lot of the healing for you and in between kills just turn off your prayer it will save you that little extra bit of prayer now let's see if we do get that pet in the 20 or so kills that i have here on this slayer task hiss fuck you he is going to occasionally drop your stats as one of his special attacks. It's not really going to do much. You take a tip of Super Restore, you're good to go, and it's not even going to affect your combat stats, so honestly, it's barely going to do fuck all for you. Now, I'm leaving most of the Bones and Dragon Hide stuff on the floor here because I'm here just to get the Slayer task out of the way as quickly as possible. The only notable drop that I really care about is, of course, the pet. If I wanted to earn some money from a Black Dragon task, obviously, you are going to go and kill Brutal black dragons which will give you way 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 more gp per hour now this task was only for about 18 kills we could have gotten an extra probably three or four if we'd stayed there so over 20 kills a trip easy peasy really easy pet hunt and again very little risk you're in the wilderness for 20 seconds at a time let's have a look at the final loot tally just from those 18 kills it was done very very quickly to be fair we didn't get the pet unfortunately but that would have been a mega spoon but all in all the loot came to about 190k which isn't terrible but it's not exactly great you can earn so much more than that from so many other monsters within this game or different skilling training methods you know the loot here is really not what you're coming for i just want to take a hot second to say for the feedback i've had on the channel thank you so much i'm going to be giving 10 million gp away when we hit 100 subscribers so all you need to do is subscribe and leave a comment with your username and i will pick someone and give you 10 mil bish bash bosh i'm the spaz devil over and out i hope you've enjoyed this video like and subscribe all of that shit and i will see you on the next one with the lucky winner of that 10 mil in the next video as well take care